Well, the thing about Nick, I mean, he was passionate about Tampa Catholic athletics. I mean, he, he is the godfather of athletics here at Tampa Catholic. Tampa Catholic, that was his passion, his love, besides his family. He started, I believe his first job was at East Bay High School. He was hired by Coach Murray at the time. That he was a track coach, so he did some coaching before he became the athletic director and was the track coach, won two state track championships. So that's a heck of an accomplishment right there. He was really instrumental in when they were building the gym. He spent a lot of time picking children up who didn't have rides to the games, the athletes, so that they would be able to participate and go. And he spent a lot of his time doing that. He never talked about it and never said anything, but he would just go pick them up, take them to practice or to the game, and then take them home. He never really interfered in regards to coaching, and I think I've kind of tried to be that type of athletic director like he was, where, okay, you're the coach, you know, what do I need to do to help you? I think he just really liked to see kids succeed because I remember one statement he said about when the facilities were first being built. He said it was going to give them a place to enhance their passion and their dreams. He, you know, a lot of people retire and they go to play golf or they go fishing or they travel. You know, Nick would come in to TC and when I was the AD, I bet he showed up three times a week, maybe four times a week, and he'd sit down, and here I was trying to get work done, but, but how's, how's the tennis team? How's the golf team doing? Are there any good golfers this year? He was interested in every sport, even after he retired. I would say his legacy would be, he just really loved the school and seeing it succeed, and just everything that he did was to better the athletic department and the students themselves and winning. He, he loved to win. <laughs> His common was just just win, baby. Just win. He, he was really interested in winning, so it was kind of like, okay, how many state championships are we going to have? Do you have a team that can get into the regionals this year? I think deep down it wasn't that he was only solely interested in winning, but people see sports, and Nick was really cognizant of that fact. Now, he was very instrumental in bringing in the girls' sport to give them the opportunity to shine, just like the boys. I think he introduced, if I'm not mistaken, like girls' soccer and some of the female sports that he wanted to, you know, also promote those programs as well. I remember when I saw an article of when they had their first home game after everything was built, and he it brought tears to his eyes that he didn't think he was ever going to see a home game at Tampa Catholic. Uh, we got a beautiful facility now here and I think he would be very proud of, of what Tampa Catholic is, is doing and has continued to do, do pretty much in honor of his legacy. Now it's, it's you know when you bring this stuff up it's it, I have nothing but great memories about Nick. He, he, he was great. He was great. There was a lot of love for dad all the way around. <laughs> to have the school name this after him, the sports center or complex, it just means the world to us as a family. I'm really honored. I know he would be so honored. <laughs>